Hello everybody, this is Painted Black, and uh, I'm going to show you all something I've been working on in uh, Minecraft. Uh, it's on an uh, Australian server called Luna's World. And uh, as you can see, what I've been working on is a pirate ship. And this particular pirate ship is called the Black Widow. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a, uh, a, a walking tour of the ship. Uh, we're going to look through the... Um, interior locations and I'm gonna give you a very brief overview of what's gonna be in them and uh, yeah so uh, hopefully it should be pretty quick but uh, since um, much of the ceiling is too low to accommodate flying we're gonna to have to walk it so you know quick is gonna be kinda of relative here um, but nonetheless let's get started uh, the first stop in our tour is the navigation room uh, as the name implies, uh, this room is pretty much where the uh, ship's uh, course is going to be charted. Just beyond the navigation room, we have the captain's cabin. And uh, this, most of this area right here uh, is going to be, uh, you know, where the captain will dine. Uh, there's probably going to be a little something, something right here, too. I haven't figured out what yet. Uh, let's see. Down here, the uh, other floor of the captain's cabin. Is, uh, this is going to be where the captain will probably sleep, and uh, this is probably going to be the latrine. Uh, just beyond the captain's cabin right here, we have the uh, officer's dining area. Pretty much the bulk of this right here is going to be the dining area. And uh, we also have the uh, main deck galley, which is going to be the bulk of this uh, squarish area right here. And um, so the cook will be able to... Uh, prepare food and for the officers and bring it out to them here and uh, they will also be able to uh, bring food up to the captain via the stairwell. Uh, here we have the uh, officers quarters the other side. and uh, we're gonna move into this area right here first uh, this here is the main cabin this is where the uh, crew is going to sleep. Uh, as you can see so far uh, the only area that's really been filled in at all is this area right here, and this is actually where the gunnery crew is going to sleep, the people that um, operate the cannons. So, uh, as you can see, there is uh, some more uh, cruise quarters here, but they're empty. Um, in Somewhere in here, and also in the uh, officer's quarters, there are going to be latrines as well. Moving on. Um, here we have the main deck of the ship. Um, as you can see, the uh, vessel is uh, three-masted. Um, you can't really tell right now, but there are eight sails total. There's three at the bow, three at the stern, and two at the main right here. And um, there's also uh, four crow's nests, uh, all of them accessible uh, by ladder. And they have a little trap door right there, like that one. Um, here, we have an example of... Hello lag as well as dispenser cannons um, and these are powered by redstone uh, pretty much you can fire them all at the same time by pressing a single button and they are uh, located at five points of the ship uh, as you can see there's one uh, here at starboard there's one here at port and then uh, there's um, two more um, pretty much in the same exact spot in the next deck below which um, I'll show you briefly briefly Blech. And um, the fifth location is at the bow, right here. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, to one deck below main. So you guys can uh, start to see the uh, various compartments of the ship. Uh, this here is the uh, gunnery storage area. Um, this is pretty, or the gunnery reserve. Uh, this is pretty much where all the uh, unused ammunition is going to be stored. And uh, they're identical. Um, both reserves are parallel to each other. And um, they're accompanied by a firing area, uh, which are also identical. And the firing areas are parallel to the reserves. Uh, and here's an example. Hello. Here's an example of what one of the firing areas looks like. Uh, it's a little bit more, um, a little bit more fancy than, uh, you know, than what's on main deck. But yeah, 
And there's a button over on this side that you can press to fire all these uh, cannons. So uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to port side real quick. And there's a little trap door here I just went over. I'll show you where that goes in a second. Um, we're going to go to the bow end right here. This is toxic. This is, uh, excuse me, toxin development. Um, <clears throat> just like a real Black Widow spider, um, this ship is going to be able to produce its own venom or its own toxins in the form of slime balls. And then those toxins, once produced, are stored in the reserve. And then, obviously, uh, when needed, loaded up and fired. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of this. It's going to be kind of partly biological, too. It should be pretty cool. Uh, we'll see how that turns out. Here we are on starboard side now. We're going to go towards the stern. This is the uh, weapons gallery. And uh, this is pretty much where you would go um, in times of emergency where you needed some basic weapons to access quickly. Like, let's say you're under surprise attack and you're being boarded. This is, one, this is where you would go to... Uh, get some uh, last ditch weapons. And it's kind of like swords and pistols and stuff like that here. Uh, this is the infirmary. Pretty basic. Medical quarters. Or not quarters, but medical area. And then now we're uh, two decks below main in the stern end. Uh, this is the crew dining area. And if you remember that trap door I just showed you a minute ago, uh, this is where that hatch drops out. So could be useful depending on the circumstances. Um, this is the galley. Pretty decent sized galley. And on either side of the galley there are these little uh, corridors here and um, that take you to the ship's pub. Now uh, the toxic development uh, was one pretty unique feature to the ship um, and the pub is also a unique feature. Um, so now instead of having to make port for rum, the crew can have pretty much rum whenever they uh, want to. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of a nice little CD addition to a lovely pirate ship, if I do say so myself. And uh, here is the, uh, there's a passageway in the wall of the pub right here. Now, this is not where the rum is, is stored. In fact, this passageway will take you to the brig. And this is where the head guard is. And here are uh, one of two identical blocks. Um, one block will house uh, individual cells, small individual cells, and the other block will house uh, pretty, well, a little bit bigger cells. So, and on uh, just ahead, right here, on either side of the um, two blocks, are uh, these are like little guard resting areas. So pretty much any of the guards that aren't on patrol or sweeping the floor or whatever over here. Uh, they're going to be uh, hanging out right here at the breather, which is pretty much uh, a lot of breathers. Um, this here is going to be the future site of the treasure room, or in more priority terms, the booty room. And I'll probably decorate this with all kinds of shinies and what have you. And in here, right about here, is going to be where the armory is. and. Um, in contrast with the weapons gallery, uh, this is pretty much where you're going to store um, weapons for long term. You're, or you also have uh, bigger weapons here, like rifles. And um, you also have uh, all sorts of ammunition stored here. <clears throat> so uh, we are currently at three decks below main. And right now we're kind of on starboard sternish area. Um, we're now going to go to the fourth and final deck below main. This is the supply deck. Pretty straightforward. This is uh, where all the various uh, materials are stored. Um, anything varying from rum to medical stuff to foodstuffs. All that stored down here. So we're now going to make our way back up to the main deck. And um, as we do, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ship. Uh, it took about uh, 13 hours to build. Um, that's um, pretty much accounting for the entire hall and uh, all of the uh, deck floorings right here that you see. Uh, it's made uh, primarily of spruce, uh, but uh, I used uh, birch for the stairs because, uh, you know, frankly, I fancied the uh, contrast that they provided. So, um, 
if you do want to uh, replicate this, um, I have uh, the tutorial, the, the link, the YouTube link to the uh, tutorial that I uh, used to make this. So you can make a ship uh, just like this or similar to it, or you can use the concepts in there to, uh, you know, make a ship design of your own. Um, so yeah. So here we are, uh, back on the main deck, just pretty much where we started. And uh, we're going to fly here. And uh, I'm going to show you, uh, give you kind of a, a pseudo bird's eye view, I guess, of the uh, exterior of the ship. We're kind of veering towards the starboard side right here. As you can see, this is pretty much what the entire exterior of the ship looks like. Now, here you'll be able to see where I deviated from the tutorial, if you uh, check it out. Um, I kind of, well, I lined the front here, the um, bow face here, with uh, obsidian stone. Um, down here, you can't really see it, but if you got down like this, you can kind of see how um, the uh, the hull kind of curves in to pretty much a, 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 a meter, um, like, like, like a whole row full of meter blocks. And um, it does so just like an actual ship would. And uh, the only thing I really didn't do is I didn't uh, put more of it underwater because I had to reconcile the flood while I did that. And yeah, no. But um, and here you can see I also added a rudder and uh, I tapered the uh, the captain's area of the stern right here. And so yeah, um, as I mentioned, this has uh, eight sails. And um, in this uh, mainsail right here, you can see there's a red hourglass. And again, just like an actual black uh, widow spider, uh, when you uh, see this red hourglass at sea, you will know to tread very carefully. This acts a bit as the uh, ship's Jolly Roger. And then uh, right here, this is a flag. Um, I kind of used a... It's, it's a simple, but um, I haven't seen a flag design on a ship uh, done like this. So, based on that, I'm calling it unique. Um, but basically, what I did was I modeled this after the spinneret of a spider. And, uh, you know, I mean, since a black widow, um, I mean, all spiders have spinnerets, but a black widow is a web-dwelling spider, so, uh, you know, this is kind of, it, it plays a little bit more significance. And uh, this here, obviously, then uh, represents the silk. So that's kind of what that signifies. And um, this uh, ship is located in a uh, world on the Luna's World server called the Big Wet. It's basically a giant water world. It's one of uh, six uh, unique member worlds. It's only accessible to those who um, have member rank and above. So if you would like to visit this, uh, you'd have to get promoted to member. Um, so, uh, when you go to the um, member um, lobby, uh, you'll see a portal that says BW. You go through that portal, and it'll take you to the spawn point of this world. Uh, to get to the ship, um, what you're going to do is you're going to fly from that spawn point, like I'm doing right now. Except this isn't the spawn point. But we'll just pretend like it is. And so, this is the spawn point I'm flying. And now I'm heading to the right in a diagonal like this. And the first step is you're going to want to keep doing that until you reach this. Um, this is one of those builds you just cannot miss. Um, it's about, no, excuse me, it is 300 blocks from uh, bow to stern. And it's probably about maybe 40 blocks or so wide. And um, so when you reach this, you know, whatever altitude you are, you're going to follow it down like so. And you're going to keep following it down until you reach the stern end of the ship. Um, once you reach the stern end, like I have just now, uh, you are going to continue forward about 100 blocks or so. And that is when you're going to reach the Black Widow. At which point, once you get over the uh, main deck, you can descend and wander around and, you know, fire the cannons a few times. Um, interact with the ship. So... Yes, uh, that's pretty much what I have um, 
I will post another uh, much shorter video um, featuring the uh, completed insides once it's done. But um, yeah, so if you would, um, you know, if you'd like to visit the ship, uh, you would have to get promoted to member at Luna's World. And the first step to doing that is to come to Luna's World. Um, the uh, the server address is mine.luna.net, um, and I'll also um, include that um, in the caption with the video, uh, and I'll include the um, tutorial that I used in that uh, caption as well. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you come here to mine.luna.net, um, you build something, uh, get promoted to member, and then you could come and see this. Um, so yeah, and even if you're not a member, there's still plenty to do in this uh, server if you're a guest. Um, so uh, there's it's there's a lot of opportunities for fun and good times, and it, it's, there's a real uh, um, real well knit uh, group of folks here. Um, it's a lot of fun, good people, and um, so yeah. So uh, come check us out at Luna's World, and um, till next time, um, keep building, have fun, and take care. Bye-bye.